Hello my dear students, good evening. Welcome for the next topic. Today I will drive an electric field intensity due to an electric dipole at a point on the equatorial line. See, equatorial line. Now, what is an equatorial line? Equatorial line. A line which is perpendicular to the axial line and passing through the center of the electric dipole. Say, this is electric dipole. So, equatorial line cones here. If it is an axial line, so this is an equatorial line. This perpendicular to it. Question is there how many equatorial lines are there? How many equatorial lines are there? They are infinite equatorial lines. See here. This is an equatorial line. This can be an equatorial line like this. This is also an equatorial line. This is also an equatorial line. This is also there are so many equatorial lines. So what is an equatorial line? Which is perpendicular to the axial line and passing through the center of the electric dipole. Let us consider. Let us consider an electric dipole minus Q and plus Q charge here. So I have explained you what is the equatorial line. You can write it here by yourself. It is the line which is providing to the axial line passing to its center. And there are infinite number of equatorial lines. Let's take one of them. Let us consider an electric dipole of dipole moment P equals to 2 AQ. See, fits it. Electric dipole of dipole moment P equals to 2 AQ. It is quite obvious. If we have taken a dipole whose charges are minus Q and plus Q and the separation distance between them is 2 times A. So this is minus Q, this is plus Q and the separation distance between them is twice of A. It means this is A and this is also A and this is the origin O. So equatorial line you can see here. This is an equatorial line which passes through its center and perpendicular to its axis. This is an equatorial line. One of the equatorial line. So let P is a point on the equatorial line at a distance at a distance say R from O. See, again, all distance are measured from O. So, let this is a point P, which is a distance, can the distance be smaller from O. So, this is point P. Where we have to find the electric field density because of the dipole. So, what is electric field density at point P? Very simple, electric field density at point P is given by the vector sum. See electric field density at point P is given by the vector sum electric field density at point P because of A, electric field density at P because of B. What is A? Let this charge be capital A and this charge be capital B. So how vector sum negative electric field intensity at P because of A and electric field intensity at P because of B. This is equation number two. We have to write this. But when we are out of the magnitude, we will take it out. Let's find the electric field density at point P. Electric field density at point P because of A. It's mod. So minus Q L. 4 pi epsilon naught I. And distance. This distance. This is AP ka whole square. AP whole square. That's all. Our open mode, what do you get? Q, 4 pi epsilon naught. What is AP? This is A, this is R. So what is AP? 
R square plus A square under root. R square plus A square under root. And what do you want? AP square. So that will be R square plus A square using Pythagoras term. What is the direction of EPA? It is negative charge. This is P. If we have test charge, then where will it go? This one. So this is the direction of electric field at P because of A. EPA. So it is along P a vector. Say so this is equation number 3. Similarly, electric field intensity at P because of B. What will happen? This K will be this K. Check it. What will be Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught P B square. What will be P B square. Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught P B square. And what is this value? Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught. What is P B? P B. Again, it is under root R square plus A square using Pythagoras of 90 degrees. 90 degrees. It is R square plus A square. And what's the direction of it? It's positive. It's P. If we have test charge, then where will it go? This way. It's a positive to electric field intensity. It's not the electric field lines. Radial outputs. So it's going to be produced by this. This is electric field at P because of B. This is along BP vector. Or you can say BP vector produced or simply BP vector. So, this direction is side and this direction is side. Say this is equation number 4. Now, see, in the other magnitude, the barabar here. It means, in the vector length, it will be equal to the vector length. It will be equal to the EPA or EPB both are equal in magnitudes. You can write here EPA mod is equal to EPB mod. No problem. Equation number 5. So what do we do? One vector is going and one vector is going. So we have two ways to do it. Either to use a formula of vector relations or by resolving. So resolving is much better and comfortable and easier and quick. Say this is angle theta. This is also theta y. Isosceles triangle. Both sides are equal. So let this angle be theta, this angle be theta. Both are equal. और हम एक लाइन ड्रॉ करते हैं हॉरिजॉन्टल यहां से इफ इट इज थीटा तो ये कितना एंगल होगा दिस इज आल्सो थीटा व्हाई अल्टरनेट एंगल्स इफ इट इज थीटा दिस विल आल्सो बी थीटा व्हाई कोरिस्पोंडिंग एंगल्स दिस लाइन इज पैरेलल टू दिस नाउ लेट्स रिजॉल्व लेट्स रिजॉल्व लेट्स Let's resolve EPA. So what do you get? EPA को जब resolve करेंगे तो this component will be what is this component? EPA cos theta and this will be EPA sin theta. ये आपने eleventh में पढ़ा होगा. Resolve करना. इस vector को resolve करो. Resolve means split कर दो. तो अगर ये theta है जिस side जिस साइड के साथ थीटा लगा होता है वो कॉस्ट में होती है इफ इट इज ईपीए दिस शुड बी ईपीए कॉस्ट थीटा आप इसको कर सकते हैं यू कैन ट्रिग्नो मैट्रिक आल्सो यू कैन डू इट एंड दिस साइड विल बी ईपीए साइन थीटा तो ईपीए तो इट इज रोल्ड टू ईपीए कॉस्ट थीटा एंड ईपीए साइन थीटा सिमिलरली रिजोल्व ईपीबी कंपोनेंट्स आर ऑलवेज स्केलर इन फॉर्म तो इट इज स्केलर ईपीए मॉड ईपीए मॉड अगर मैं ईपीबी को रिजोल्व करता हूं इस साइड रिजोल्व करेंगे तो क्या है दिस इज थीटा और ये साइड थीटा के साथ टच कर रही तो ये क्या होना चाहिए दिस साइड इट शुड बी ईपीबी ईपीबी कॉस थीटा इट्स कॉस कंपोनेंट ऑफ ईपीबी और ये वाला कौन सा कंपोनेंट होना चाहिए ऊपर वाला EPB sin theta. See, so we have resolved EPA into these two and EPB into these two. 
अब देख रहे हैं ईपी वो किसमें कर ले ईपी बी साइन थीटा एंड ईपी बी कॉस थीटा सी रिजोल्व कर ली अब क्योंकि ईपी और ईपी बी बोथ आर इक्वल इन मैग्नीट्यूड तो इसका मतलब ईपी ए और ईपी बी इक्वल इन मैग्नीट्यूड है साइन थीटा से मल्टीप्लाई इट मीन दिस कंपोनेंट एंड दिस कंपोनेंट व्हिच आर यू कैन से वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट्स देयरफॉर वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट्स कौन कौन से वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट्स EPA साइन थीटा एंड EPB साइन थीटा EPA साइन थीटा एंड EPB साइन थीटा और इक्वल ऑपोजिट ऑपोजिट भी हैं इक्वल भी हैं एंड अलोंग सेम स्ट्रेट लाइन है ना सेम स्ट्रेट लाइन में एक ही लाइन में अलोंग सेम स्ट्रेट लाइन ये नीचे है वो ऊपर है तो देफोर दे विल बैलेंस इच देफोर they will don't say cancel say balance they will balance each other to ye aapas mein balance kar rahe whereas these two components which are in same direction is horizontal components you can say this is the horizontal components being in same direction will add up i will do here to जो हॉर्जोंटल कंपोनेंट्स हैं, जस्ट सी द हॉर्जोंटल कंपोनेंट्स कौन कौन से हैं? वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट्स तो बैलेंस होगे, ये और ये बैलेंस होगे। हॉर्जोंटल कंपोनेंट्स ऐड अप हो जाएंगे। तो बीइंग लिखना क्या है? The horizon, the horizontal components being in same direction will add up. Horizontal components being in same direction will add up. Vertical components being in opposite direction, equal, and along the same straight line, a straight line, so they will balance out, balance each other. So what is the electric field intensity at point P? Its mod exactly. Electric field intensity at point P on the equatorial line. What will happen in both of them? Plus EPA. कॉस थीटा प्लस ईपीबी कॉस थीटा दोनों को ऐड कर दो नाउ सिंस बोथ आर ईपीए और ईपीबी इक्वल है वी कैन राइट टू टाइम्स ईपीए कॉस थीटा व्हाई क्योंकि ईपीए और ईपीबी इक्वल है ईपीए इज इक्वल्स टू ईपीबी मैग्नीट्यूड इट इज टू टाइम्स ईपीए कॉस थीटा इज टू व्हाट इज ईपीए हियर इट इज क्यू अपॉन 4 बाय एब्सोल्यूट नॉट r स्क्वायर प्लस a स्क्वायर This is good. And what is cos theta from this triangle? What is cos theta? It is triangle based upon hypotenuse. So it is a upon what is cos theta? A upon under root r square plus a square. The cos theta value is this much. The EPA value is this much. What do we get? Two a q. A Q four pi epsilon not r square plus a square power one r square plus a square power one by two it will be r square plus a square three by two this is e vector mod I'm writing equatorial this is the magnitude of it and what's the direction ये तो कैंसिल हो गए ये इस तरफ है तो व्हाट्सएप नेट डायरेक्शन क्या होगी इनकी नेट डायरेक्शन विल बी दिस साइड इन दोनों को ऐड करना है और दिस इज द नेट डायरेक्शन एंड दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट पॉइंट पी ऑन द इक्वेटोरियल लाइन एंड इट इज अलोंग बी ए वेक्टर अलोंग बी ए वेक्टर और यू कैन से और ऑपोजिट टू P vector, see here. This is P vector. ये तो पता है आपको. This is P vector from negative charge to plus charge. तो इसकी direction इस P vector की क्या है? Opposite है. This is opposite to P vector. The scalar form form is okay, but if you want to write in vector form, तो we have to put. See vector form. Vector form. 
e equatorial vector what is 2aq i can write p p vector 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi epsilon naught r square plus a square 3 by 2 but minus why minus should be this is opposite to p vector this is the the final expression this is the final expression of electric field intensity at a point p on the equatorial line of an electric dipole if you are taking the magnitude only to take the mod of it remove p uh, remove negative sign what is p here 2a cube so of course go formally go direct derivation is also important but for computer exams or for numericals you have to learn it e equal equals to minus p 4 by epsilon r square plus a square 3 by 2. Now let's do for a short dipole. For a short dipole, what happens for a short dipole? In the lecture, I will you. For a short dipole, what do you This distance is very big as compared to a. Let's do here. For short dipole. A is very very less than R, or you can say A is A upon R is very very less than 1, it is in fractions. So A square by R square is you can take approximately 0. So what is the answer? E equatorial minus P vector 4 pi epsilon naught take R square outside 1 plus A square by R square, the whole bracket 3 by 2. What is left? This is minus. 4 by epsilon naught. It is now R cube. 1 plus 0 raised to power 3 by 2. E square by R square calculate 0. So what is the answer? So I am writing the answer here. E equatorial for a short time. I am writing short here. Vector with other. So many things we are writing. Just to make you understand. Minus p 4 pi epsilon naught. What I have only r cube. See again for for electric field intensity on an equatorial line due to electric dipole, electric field field is are inversely to see r cube. This is e is inversely to r cube electric field due to an Electric dipole is inversely to R cube, where R is this distance. How many distance will the electric field? The magnitude both the say come over. So this is the formula. This is the formula for electric field on an equatorial line due to a short dipole. This is for an ordinary dipole. Now let's compare what's the difference between electric field due to a Short dipole on equatorial line or an axial line. So many of the Karaya have electric field on an axial line. Okay, what is formula? See, electric field short dipole ke liye on an axial line. Okay, what is it? It is two times p vector four by epsilon naught r cube. Equation number say first. It just Comparing or getting a relation between them. Similarly, R is E equatorial or a short dipole. It is minus P 4 pi epsilon naught R cube. Equation number 2. Now let's divide both. What do you get? Divide both the things. We get something. What we get? E short axial line okay. e for short dipole on equatorial line divide it if you divide it what do we get minus 2 it means it means what do you get e short axial is minus 2 times e 
short equatorial for the same distance r agar distance same hoga to axial line pe electric field density is double and opposite in direction as compared to the electric field on an equatorial equatorial line this is the comparison between these two cases axial line and equatorial line तो एक्सल लाइन पे इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डेंसिटी का मैग्नीट्यूड इक्टोर लाइन की कंपैरिजन में डबल होता है और ऑपोजिट इन डायरेक्शन होते हैं तो वी हैव डन दिस दिस इज फॉर एन ऑर्डर डायपोल एंड इट्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डेंसिटी ऑन द इक्टोर लाइन दिस इज फॉर द शॉर्ट डायपोल ऑन द इक्टोर लाइन दिस इज द कंपैरिजन बिटवीन द टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स ड्यू टू द शॉर्ट डायपोल ऑन द एक्सल लाइन एज वेल एज ऑन द इक्टोर लाइन दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे Thank you. Thank you very much.